<clears throat> That's right. No music today. It's just going to be my voice. <laughs> No ambiance, uh, background music for this reading. Greetings and welcome. Thank you for joining me here on TikTok Live here at Bloom From Within Love. I go by Bloomy. And I hope y'all are having a wonderful Monday so far. It's been a long day. I, I'm, um, I am actually shocked that I'm here to do a reading. <laughs> But I felt like um, I go by inspiration most often times. And uh, today, as you can see in the title, it is, I think it's something along the lines of self-care touch, right? Tarot reading. And don't go there. <laughs> I can almost imagine what some of y'all going to be thinking. Um, but I felt inspired to do this reading based on usually stuff come out of my own personal wisdom lessons and things people share with me or my own life. So there's usually something of true to life to what I do here. Okay. <clears throat> like personal experiences, whether it be my own or people that I talk to, people that come to me. Okay. So today, um, I was actually able to find some time to go and get a full body combo massage slash reflexology, I think is what they called it. <clears throat> okay, so first time I've done something like that, right? Like professionally. And so <laughs> I was a little nervous, but I felt inspired to do it, right? And I was like, okay, you know, because I'm always doing the energy work. Y'all know I'm a Yusui Reiki master. I'm constantly doing some type of an energy channeling, receiving it, giving it. You know, I'm very into all of that. Um, but not so much. I don't, I haven't really got too deep into like the physical touch. And we're going to talk about <clears throat> why I'm doing this reading and, and those that this is going to be for. So... You know, as I went to do it, I was like nervous and stuff. And the room, you know, it was really nice. It was all dark and, you know, all seductive like, right? And I was like, oh, Lord. I was like, am I at one of those places? <laughs> like, it was so funny. I was like kind of low key wondering. I just chuckled because I was like, well, I'm going to find out, right? Because when they sent me to the room, then, you know, the, the attendant was like, <clears throat> Okay, you know, she was giving me the instructions, you know, like you got to, you know, take off all your clothes. And I was like, I was like, my, all my clothes, I'm looking at <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, my clothes. they were like, no worries. So they had like the sheets and then they were like, you know, leave on your undies, you know, because this, I, I got a full body package, right? And so I was like, well, Brandy, yeah, you got a full body package. So you can't, you know, have your clothes on. So you're going to, you know, you're going to have to do it. Okay. So. I did. And I was like laughing. They gave me privacy, you know what I'm saying, to change and get situated. They had the music going. And um, so, you know, then I was like, okay, cool. Right. And, I, and then they, they soaked my feet because it was like a combo. So they had their room set up in such a way to where like they broke, it was a whole hour and they broke it up in half and half. But first, as they had me waiting, I had to have my feet soaking in this like, um, it was like this bucket of hot water and like they put like these um, essential oils or some stuff in there. And I had to soak that for a while. And then um, then and then they had like these lava stones, these hot stones and these towels. Like it was like this whole big thing. Right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. I was like, OK, shoes, man, you guys, let me tell y'all. OK, it's a reason why I'm, I'm going this long route around this whole story to the reading for the collective I'm channeling for because it is a general collective but it's it's for a specific group that may very well need the very thing that happened and then we're going to do like the reading the oracle messages to see for this particular collective where you guys are at in terms of this self-care physical touch okay very interesting message. That's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna roll with it. I'm shocked that I have time. Like I literally barely just got home. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, then the, the, I actually ended up getting a male masseuse. I thought that I was going to have a lady masseuse. I mean, not that it, you know, I'm not 
it doesn't matter to me, but I was just, I kind of thought like by standard, if you're a lady, they'll probably give you a lady. If you're, you know, I just thought that, right? <laughs> or they would ask you. <clears throat> so, you know what I'm saying? They didn't. So, you know, when the, when it was time for my session, then a, a, a male masseuse came in. And so then I was, I was really feeling some kind of way, <laughs> right? But I just took some deep breaths and then, um, I, I know you guys are going to be like, why is it a big deal? But I'll get there. So, you know, I started saying within myself, like to my higher self, I was like, okay. I was like, light team, y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I was like, y'all gotta, you know, is y'all see what's happening, you know? And, um, cause I'm very, I'm very, I wasn't always this way, but I've come to a place in my life. I'm very selective in who gets to touch me. Very, very selective because I understand energy. I understand quantum physics and all these dynamics and vibration and I've become very selective. Even if it's professional, I've become selective. So um, I was like, okay, you know, hmm. now this is what I, what I want to share about the whole experience. Oh, my God. It was so wonderful. Like it was like they make you they do this whole like first they do your front, right? They do your whole head. Like they were doing all kinds of techniques. They they did my whole head, right? You know, the neck and shoulders, like as I was laying on my back on the table, right? And then they did, you know, they did, you know, everything. And then then, you know, they pull your arms, your your legs, your fingers, toes, like they do like every part of you. OK, with this cool like massage oil or whatever the hell they was using. Then they had me turn over on my I had to put my face in the hole and then, you know, be on my stomach for the back part. And then they even do the lumbar. So I got a little nervous because then they moved the sheet and to the, all the way down and tucked it under my underpants that they told me to, to keep on. Right. So I was like, oh, I was like, oh, my, you know, but they, you know. <laughs> They had to get to all the area, right? It's so funny. But you guys, I, you know, I don't know what was happening. Like, I felt like a lot of heat. I don't know if just energy. Because, see, the, the reason why I'm sharing this whole experience is because as I lied there and just, uh, you know, was like in receptive mode, relaxed, taking deep breaths, right? I set some personal intentions for myself. And, you know, he was really good. I was like, oh, you know, I was like, it was like, dude was really good at his massaging. And um, I felt like either my, my body started warming up, you know, the tingling everywhere and pressure. I can feel like pressure releasing. There was like a little pain some at some places. And then like he would concentrate in certain areas because, you know, I, he does this professionally. Right. And and then when it got to the feet part, like at the end, you know, the legs, feet, toes, like he, every part of me. OK, except for my, you know, but the whole body. Right. Wow. I felt, you know, afterwards, first of all, I felt a little bit more connected to my body. I felt I, as I was receiving this massage, you guys, it just made me realize something. And I was like, wow, see, we never really think about this. When we're on this kind of journey, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to wake up, ascend, heal, transform, change, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? We're going through life. We do the energy work, you know, yada, yada. Often we forget the connection to the body. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll say something like, oh, take a sea salt bath, sea salt shower, right? Yada, yada. Good. That's good. But for people, and this is going to be for the collective I'm channeling for, because it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? And please understand that's fine. This is, this is for a select collective group of individuals that are in this same kind of frequency vibration, and maybe they haven't made the connection just like I hadn't, okay? So when you have decided to live a life of honor, and you have decided to hold yourself in high regard, and you've, you've shifted your energy um, i.e. you're not fast and loose you're not out there hoeing okay i'm just gonna go ahead and say it urban style okay you're not you're you've decided that okay 
I have to be mindful of my energy. I know, I know that my body has essential. I understand the sexual power that I carry. I also understand that some people in life are all over the country and I don't want their all over the country energy on me. Right? You know what I'm saying? Sexually. So, you know, especially if you've done a lot of work and you come into this mind space where you're like, mm, I'm good. <laughs> Too much going on. We got the COVID. We got the nasty MFs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just like, <laughs> and so you get very like, okay, you're not experiencing this touch that I'm talking about. But we don't put a lot of importance on it because to us, it's not a big deal. You do life. You go. You know. You live in life. You 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 take care of your business, your kids, your home, your job. You hang out. You have fun. He he, <clears throat> ha ha. You go. You know what I'm saying? You do stuff, but touching the whole physical body like I experienced like every part of me like my whole head y'all I ain't lying like I was like okay they really say it's a full body like they ain't lying okay <laughs> they did all everything the only thing they did not touch is the you know the no-no parts <clears throat> but you know what I'm saying? They 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 did the top of the butt though because they they were massaging. They needed to get to the lumbar, to the hip. You know that that area at the very base, right? <clears throat> and then on top of the sheet, when they put the sheet on, they did do the actual butt. Like when they put the put the uh, the sheet back, they did the butt too. They did the butt. They did the the inner thighs. They did it. You know, it was in a very pro professional manner, but. <clears throat> It just made me realize like, whoa, touch is in terms of this physicality, the 3D body that we've chosen to have this earth experience in. Self-care. For those of you who, like I said, <clears throat> are in that kind of frequency, and this is the truth of my throat shocker is kicking up, boy. Um, you don't have to dishonor yourself. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Because see, this is, oh, I know I'm all over the place. Just give me a second. This is the issue. Let's say you started dating somebody, right? Let's say, you know, you're dating, but you're not in like, um, you haven't gotten into like a deep relationship yet, or maybe you haven't had sexual relation yet. And you're trying to take things slow. Like some of the readings I've been getting for many of you that are, you know, <clears throat> in the process of manifesting. So, you know full well, once you get past a certain age, ain't no such thing as having to massage you and it ain't turning sexual. Come on. Let's just keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it for realsy reals, especially if there's extreme heat between you and that person. Okay? So, it's kind of like you're like, no, we can't, you know, we're not. No, no, no. We ain't finna do this. Not yet anyway. Because I don't want them leaving some kind of way feeling like I'm a tease. I don't want, you know what I'm saying, to be teased. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, um, leave it, you know, leave a date feeling hot and bothered. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, right? So the guidance that was coming to me is, is those little simple things. And I understand maybe not everybody has access or the, the means, you know, so certainly as it resonates, certainly according to your own um, budget situation, you know, because they, they have, you guys, they have so many different packages. It's not all like what you think. Okay. All kinds of packages you can select. You can go on um, Groupon to get like a, a um, additional discounts and things like that so sometimes it just takes us being willing to do a little bit of research to see if it is in our means to do okay but it is recommended to those who want to keep yourself in high honor and high regard and are selective and you know who gets to touch your body right <clears throat> it's recommended that you consider perhaps getting either weekly Massages, bi-weekly massages on your entire body with the intention of self-care, with the intention of loving the body. Now it's the body-mind connection. Now we're bringing it into the appreciation of the body. Some of us has had such horrible experiences in our lives, okay, physically. 
So you may have gotten touched a lot, but you haven't had a lot of loving touches that were not exploratory in nature. You may have gotten touched a lot, but it was not. Do you see what I'm trying to say? These, the professional massages, it, you know, especially the one I got, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with the intentions that I set, you know what I'm saying? They had a very nice ambiance. I'm like, it was just, it was rad, right? Um, it's not exploited and it kind of brings healing into you. You're not being exploited. So you're able to lie there comfortably. Not worrying about who finna try to jam their hand up my hoo-ha. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or who, you know what I'm saying, is going to expect something because... You, you see where I'm going with this? There's a, a sense of safety. And when we get in that relaxed state and feel safe, this is the prime atmosphere for healing for release, for reconnecting to our bodies, right? Bringing love back into the, the vehicles by touch. Did you guys know that the skin is the largest organ of the body? The largest. So it actually matters, right? Wow, yeah, I mean... It certainly it can be a healing experience for you, especially if you've been neglected, especially if you had a tendency to even, you know what I'm saying, be an overgiver. Let's say even when you were in situations and relationships, you may have had people that just is oblivious and selfish. You know what I'm trying to say? And it, it may have been where you knew how to give touch without needing to, you know, Go bang it out every time you, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> massage somebody, right? Some of you may have that level of maturity and development, but not everybody does. And chances are, you know what I'm saying, you've experienced that. And now this is a way of the higher self saying, now it's time to pour all of that loving energy. Sure, you can massage yourself every day, but I believe that this external massage is a way of like receiving without needing to, to, like total receptive mode, total versus, okay, I'm going to do it to myself, right? Total receptive mode. You're deserving of it. Um, I found out, I did a little bit of research. There's um, a such thing called a yoni, a yoni, um, Yoning healing massage. Now, I know this is very edgy and it's very, you really have to be ready for something like that. You really have to be mature um, to experience something like that. But the purpose, you know, that's on my list. I may if I feel guided because the purpose of getting a yoni, mas you know, professional massage, I'm not talking about hoeing. So y'all just get, get, get that out. <laughs> get out your head. Okay. Um. The purpose of the yoni, which is the hoo-ha, you know, the, the woman's, you know, parts, right? Is for healing the, 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 first of all, femininity, but your connection to your, your yoni and like for releasing any trauma, you know, that may be there, whether it be due to past, you know, you know, maybe you got violated in some way, or maybe you carry that from your ancestry, you know what I'm saying as well. And so it's supposed to like bring the healing and the release and the purity back to the yoni and like the connection you and the yoni. Like, I don't I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's on the list. And if I do get it, I will share that with you guys so you you know can hear my take on that experience. OK, um, but certainly physical massage, you guys, as um, and this could be for guys too. you know, self-care. You know, it's releasing stress, it's detoxing your body, it's, you know, loving care to the body, it's stretching your, your tendons, your bones, your muscles, you know what I'm saying? This is moving energy through your body. Did you guys know that? Oftentimes we feel crummy because we have energy 
frequencies and energies in places of our body because it's not being processed, it's not being alchemized. Massage and reflexology is just another way to assist with getting to these energies, okay? Just like Reiki, you know, receiving um, an energy healing session or things like that, okay? Now, enough of the talk. So, yes, that was a very good experience. I was like, oh, y'all, man, I can't wait. I'm going again next week, for sure. I'm going again next week. Um, yeah, so... Set your intentions now. If you feel like this resonates with you and you want to know like, okay, self-care, touch. What's going on with me? Where am I at? What do I need to know? Should I get a massage? You know what I'm saying? Or what's another means to this whole touch? Another avenue to self-care without exploiting myself, without exploiting other people, right? So let's do it. Let's get some messages. For this collective, welcome all of you. Chances are I don't see what's going on on this screen. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Those of y'all coming in with that high vibe positivity, y'all know I love and appreciate y'all for that. May it be amplified to you for being high vibe and positive here. Keep in mind, this is a global scale. It's social media, so you're going to get a mixed bag. You're going to always have individuals coming in on some bullshit. With that being said... I advise you all to just disregard any type of blatant rudeness or disrespect to myself, to you, or anyone else here, okay? And um, what else I was going to say? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. That's all I want to say. Just thank you for being here. I hope you're able to find some messages, some wisdom, something that you can take in your life practically and somehow use it right hopefully that's the intention light team on behalf of this message that was given to me and my experience <laughs> self-care touch and the collective that this message is for highest vibration only benevolent loving frequency energy channeled messages and guidance only Please and thank you in accordance with their higher selves, their highest and greatest good, perfect comfort and alignment, divine order and divine timing. Team, amplify my silent intentions. Bloom from within love. TikTok. YouTube. Subscribers, viewers, followers, high vibe tribes, buffers and shields. May this be a safe space for individuals that are truly looking for real guidance. And so it is. All right. Hmm. Trust as I cut the bottom of the deck pre high night. Trust the guidance that your body starts to tell you. Your body is sending signals to you all the time. Okay? And then look, the Morganite, relationship healing. And you know what? I feel like it's relevant because as I was just saying, relationships are usually the dynamics in which we are receiving physical touch, right? So, you know... Self-care and the, the body in that way, the skin, massage and touch to heal the things maybe we have absorbed from either lack of connecting to ourselves first and foremost properly, abuse we've done to ourselves, our physical body, right? But you know what I'm saying? From whether it was negligence from not receiving this properly in your life or from the toxicity that you've received in your body, right? Morganite, very healing crystal. So trust your body. Trust what it's telling you. You know what I'm saying? The messages. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, like I did today. I mean, because it wasn't on my agenda. I hadn't pre-planned it. You know what I'm saying? I 
I had found some time and then I suddenly had gotten the inspiration to do it. So I was like, hmm. And at first I was going to question it. I was going to battle. But I was like, you know, no, no, just the, it came through for a reason, Brandy. Just go with it. Go with it. See, and as I say that, look at a master healer. Um, it says healer teacher card, ancient wisdom. As I said that, see, sometimes that ancient wisdom mastery level is coming in, even if you can't make sense of it all the time. Right. All right, let's do it. Light team. Thank you. Boom and boom. Yeah. See, to get you in this cool place of peace. Peace with yourself, peace with your body, right? Let's see what the messages are. Thank you, Light Team. For the collective that this dang. Cycles. Interesting. Moonstone. The moonstone is all about whoever's sending some happy something I saw flash. Thank you. The moonstone, you guys, oddly enough, we're still in like that phases of the moon. We just came out of the full moon, right? All about emotions. All about emotions. All about water energy. All about the feminine energy here, right? Cycles. So that touch, that physical touch that I'm talking about is going to help like to cycle out. Many of you are going through some emotional upheaval. You're going through emotional turmoil. You're going through some of you may be going through the change of life. Some of you may, you know what I'm saying, be just suffering from some maybe difficult dynamics and it's affecting you emotionally. And you know, sometimes, you know, yeah, we do the meditation. We talk about stillness, meditation, yoga. Y'all know I'm into all that, right? Mantras, yada, yada. But the body aspect, yoga helps with the body. Absolutely. Mind, body, soul connection. Massage is, is more uh, targeted specifically to the body and not just the skin, but depending on the massage, the tissues and all of that. Like for an example, like they, this massage I got, they had me twisted all kinds of ways. They bent me in all sorts of knots and you know what I'm saying? And I was like, make it all kind of sounds because I had never had it before. So, I mean, my legs were pulled all kind of directions and bent. My arms was pulled and bent and twirled and all sorts of things. So it, you know, it was pulling energy. Oftentimes, we're just going, going, going. And all of these emotions get stuck. Right? Feelings, emotions. Because you're doing life. You're living life. It's not, you know, this is not an attack against us. It's just the nature of this 3D world that we live in. And some of us do have a lot on our plates. And... The body sometimes is the very thing that gets neglected the most. Okay. And I'm not talking about the physicality because there are many people who are very well able for the vain aspects of the body. But I'm talking about energy. I'm talking about tending to tender, loving care, tending to the body in that way. Okay. Moonstone cycles. You guys are completing some cycles here. What's this? Look at Mother Earth. See, now we have Earth energy. We got water and Earth. Okay. So to me, this speaks volumes of the body connection. Earth. Mother Earth. Gaia. This has to do with our connection to Earth, but the body, the 3D. Connecting, healing our connections to the body, healing our connection to Earth. Receiving healing energy for the heart where maybe the heart has been broken. Maybe the heart has been fragmented with all of this green due to not receiving proper love and care to the body. They, you know, a long time ago, they had these studies. I don't know if it's still valid or not, but um, there used to be these studies. I think they did them on babies, either on babies or monkeys. I can't remember, but the study was basically, you know, they took half of the babies and, you know, had them nurtured and cared properly. And the other half was kind of like they were not held. They were not touched. They were not, you know, anything. They just, you know, I think they gave them like the bare minimum, but they didn't like hold them. They didn't nurture them. They didn't touch them and, you know, you know, coddle them and they, they didn't do any of that. 
in that group of babies, most of them died because they were not nurtured. They have food. They still have the same shelter as everybody else. Do you see my point? So, you know, I believe that this is for those of you who are starting to make this connection and you want to heal. You have asked, you have prayed, you have set an intention, you've put it out in the universe and you've said, listen, you know, I, I don't know what this self-love thing is. I, I, I want to love myself. I want to love my body. I want to accept myself and my body. I want to, you know, honor my body. I want to try to take care of it best. I know how I want to be relieved from pain, from suffering, from, you know what I'm saying, the abuse I feel like I've gone through, the trauma, the negligence, the abandonment, whatever it is you feel like, your body absorbed it. And I feel like this is why I was guided to do the reading and make that connection because you can empower yourself. You don't have to wait till you find a qualified, you know, personal friend or a lover, you know what I'm saying, that's not going to try to exploit your energy. You know, there's so many avenues that we can go to now. Relatively inexpensive if we just set these intentions and, and you know what I'm saying, st do that looking into it so that we can do this. We can continue to massage ourselves and do that. Of course, you want to do it to you know, yourself, do it to yourself. <laughs> I'm being naughty already. Okay, you, you certainly want to, you know. But so that you can be in total receptive mode, especially single parents. You guys hear me out. When do you ever get to be in total receptive mode? Ask yourself that. Frillsies. Somebody ain't asking you for some shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants some mask for something. When, okay. <laughs> Do you get to be in receptive mode without somebody wanting something back from you? See, that's what I'm talking about. Oftentimes, especially over givers, empaths, over extenders. You got plenty of people wanting to pull that energy from you. Not so many in a position in place or desire to give that back to you. So empowering yourself and taking it back in your hands and saying, okay, er, shh, cutting off, mm, mm, like nobody's touching me. It's a privilege anyway. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since my body needs that, right? I'm going to professionally, under the leadership of my higher self, under divine guidance, Re get this to my own body where I can finally sit and close my eyes and be in receptive mode and not have to worry about somebody trying to exploit that or expecting something right or that you got to sit and deal with because maybe you don't want to deal with nobody that day like for realsies think about this and I'm just keeping it raw with y'all that see sometimes you know that they say solitude is vital but not everybody always understands that. So sometimes you don't want to have to sit and talk for two more hours because you let them massage you. You, you see what I'm trying to say? <laughs> and, and at the same time, you don't want to hurt nobody. See, and that's why I'm speaking to a specific group of people, because these are people that are conscious of their own behavior and they don't want to hurt nobody either. So that's why you guys are being empowered. Like take your power back and realize there are so many ways you can do this. Okay. Just got to get intentional here. All right. That was at the bottom. Is there anything else from here? Like team, before I go on to the next thing you guys want, is there anything else for the collective that this is for? We're talking about self care regarding touch the body. Yeah. Fairy stone, fertility. This is like the empress energy to me. And the empress energy is all about having all queens in one. Being able to master all those facets of you. Earth, water, fire, and air. Because that's what keeps you fertile. This is what keeps you 
whole. This is what keeps you grounded. This is what keeps you able to continue to manifest and to continue to give out to those that you care for. So it stirs this touch of the body, stirs that fertility. I believe it stirs like the sensuality and the um, sacral chakra, of course. Yeah, you guys, for, for realsies. For realsies, for realsies. I'm telling y'all, what's this? Yeah. Forgiveness. Did I do it right? Light team or I got it backwards? Ah. Purification. Massage is excellent for um, purifying the body, you guys. It's excellent for that. Okay. It's in the emotions. Purification. That's another benefit to touch. Healthy touch healthy touch intentional loving nurturing right touch okay because some people got to touch but it ain't it ain't healing i'll tell you that <laughs> okay all right team so what else did you guys want me to bring out okay see where they need it or why they need it is that what we're doing? All right. Yeah, because we freestyling. I wasn't planning on doing this. Didn't even think I was going to have time today. Oh, man. I'm going to still use the Lover's Path um, tarot deck, you guys, in the name of, like, self-love. Yeah, the yin and yang in you, the, the masculine, feminine energy in you and how this relates, okay? Self-love, self-care. Self-care, touch, touch. And why is this important? What area of life is going on here, Light Team, that the collective... That this is for can you some healing touch some healing touch okay what are the messages i'm gonna roll with it help me to intuitively pick up the messages team thank you what are the messages dang yep straight away you guys are dealing with broken heart we got three of swords look it and as i mentioned the empress Cleopatra and Caesar. All right, royal couple of history here. And as it as it fell out, like I said, many of you are dealing with interracial um, relationships, possibly, or maybe different religions or different belief systems for some of you. Okay. Um, wow, Cleopatra and Caesar, huh? So as it fell out, we got three, we got two threes already. So many of you, this came out like this. So the Empress came out sort of in reverse for you, right? The three of swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I want to say the Empress is either, I want to say that the Empress is Libra, Taurus, I think. This is a major arcana, okay? So what I'm picking up just as I stop here. It's relational. Many of you, either you just broke up with someone or someone just broke up with you or you're still dealing with the energy surrounding a breakup, a heartache, okay, or a loss. But I'm inclined to say a relationship because I got the Empress with Cleopatra and Caesar, okay, and in this deck, it's like about couples, but you can relate it to the yin and the yang in you, right? Going through things in life as a result of some kind of heartbreak, maybe there's been an imbalance to the empress energy in you, the feminine energy in you. Something became out of balance as a result if this has nothing to do with a literal relationship, okay? But for some of you, it does, okay? Um, it could have been something unexpected. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. So you guys have gone through some karmic cycles and maybe that's why it feels heavy 
because we got the empress in reverse which can technically it can represent um uh, an out of alignment distorted feminine energy okay but right after that we also have the queen of pentacles in reverse another feminine energy which again it represents an out of alignment distorted karmic feminine energy And then look, now we got the six of pentacles and the upright. So some things were not in balance. Maybe to do with several distorted feminine energies. Okay. It can be, and they don't have to be women. They can be men. But I'm just saying distorted feminine energies in your life, whether it's family, friends, exes, exes of exes, whatever the case. Okay. And with the Six of Pentacles Earth energy representing balance, it was imbalanced. It was straight up imbalanced. Oh my gosh. Which caused you guys to go into this hermit energy to contemplate things. Because you desire with this chariot to move forward in life. Many of you never got apologies or, you know, communication was just raggedy with some of these individuals. Okay. It was imbalanced. And this is what has created this heartache and this lack of balance. And again, it could just, like I said, it could be your life. Your, your life has been in a shambles um, due to changes. And, you know, you've experienced some heartache and pain, which has caused the distortion of feminine energy. And I just mentioned how touch and the body and self-care. And we got this moon energy that was the leading card, which is all about femininity, the feminine energy, the sacral chakra, emotion. So it's all about getting it back into this balance place maybe you overextended emotionally and didn't receive back emotionally i said that earlier right which created an, an imbalance or it was people that were in distorted energy in your life okay karmic toxic distorted whatever you want to call them that broke your heart and you need to self-care you need to you know what i'm saying care for your body Bring balance, which is going to help you get your emotions back to balance from this three of swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's clarify a little bit, Lighting. Let's get some more. So we now know the area in life that has affected them. Wow. Some of y'all's case is a whole family dynamic, drama, just drama. Maybe there was a taboo connection for some of y'all. Because if you know the history of Cleopatra and Caesar, I don't know if you guys know your history on all that stuff. But, you know, <laughs> let's just say there were complications. I think she had an affair to, with Mark Anthony and some crazy shit. And her whole situation with Caesar was like a trip. Like, it was just this whole complication. Like, they relationship complicated. <laughs> like, Google that. Okay? Totally different. They came from conflicting countries. Like, conflicting, it, it, you know. Yeah. It created an uproar. Because of their differences. So, you know, people were affected. You know what I'm saying? Things happened. Things were transpired that created this upside down effect. And many of you, I feel like, have gone through some versions of that to some extent. That caused this heartache. Maybe you were neglected. You know? Wow. But, you know, 
the empowerment is that whatever the case, you don't have to wait to Caesar come back. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to wait till Caesar or Cleopatra, depending on what side that you on, right? Like chances are y'all might not even want each other. Whatever the story is, it's like you can still empower yourself to bring back balance where a balance was taken due to events, right? Events, a lifestyle, a cycle. Since we're talking about cycles, cycles of toxicity, cycles of the wrong MFs, cycles of dysfunction, cycles, you know what I'm saying? Imbalances, right? Yeah, and as I looked at the bottom of the deck, I saw the Four of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So, <laughs> cycles of feeling bored, feeling, you know what I'm saying, bored of whatever these situations and dynamics were, right? Feeling like, ugh, it's just not the ticket. Feeling a little defensive because, you know, maybe the surroundings were just MFOs that just did not, you know, I'm just keeping it 100. Like, it was imbalanced. And maybe these individuals I'm channeling for right now have gotten to that point where it's like, enough, I'm done, I'm good. Now, I need to get myself back in balance as a result of dealing with these imbalanced MFs or imbalanced situations, events, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another thing about an empress, for some of you, about an empress in reverse, if it's not either of those scenarios, an empress in reverse could also represent a person that's actually a divine empress, but she is in need of healing. She has some inner child wounding. Maybe she's got low self-esteem. Maybe she has a tendency to, because an empress out of balance will continue to overgive because of her inner child wound, Okay. And, you know, that could very well be the case, too. It could be that you are a divine feminine and you were a divine feminine that needed healing from the inner child, from maybe a past childhood, you know, the way you grew up, the family dynamics, you know, what I'm saying some past relationships. And as a result, you have found that you have overextended yourself to many different areas of life and you're sitting there feeling upside down. Because no one, while you were doing all of this for everyone, energetically, emotionally, whatever that nurturing energy was, nobody was giving it back to you. And you overextended, so you were not even giving it to yourself. So at some point, there's going to be a breakdown. Because if there's nobody giving it to you, right? And there's nobody giving it to you. You're busy giving it to everybody else. You're neglecting to give it to yourself. What do you think is going to happen? And them other people, they don't give a fuck. Once they got what they got, they got what they got. They're going to be looking at you like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, whether they intentionally mean to be that way or not, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the bottom line is you didn't receive it back. And because this empress was doing too much, she felt to give to the most important of it all, herself. Like they say on an airplane, before you give them the damn mask, uh, give it to you first. Because them alphas, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. Let me get, give me the mask. <laughs> right? Because no, it's, it's self-care. Or else you end up depleting and then you help no one in the end. Because you are eventually fizz out. Yeah. Oh, these lessons I've had to learn long and hard. Long. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. And Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Choices, right? So many of you are being guided to understand, you know, Seven of Cups. Sometimes gets a bad rap, you know, but it's not always about the illusion. Yes, all the cups have different things in them. And some of them got poison. 
Yeah, they all look the same, though, sparkly and shiny. But yeah. But for the Empress, you know, you have an intuition that's intact. Choices in terms of, you know, how can I self-care? How can I, you know, take care of the body? What's good for me so that I can stay in balance? You have options. I think that's what the message is. You need to know that you do. Because many of you have felt like you're left all alone. You have felt like you don't know who to trust. You have felt like, um, you know, especially the state of the world, the condition of the world that we're in. So many people are in this low vibration and they're in this fight and flight fear energy which make them toxic as fuck because they're running off the reptilian brain you know what i'm saying so many of you have come to this place where you're like well, sh <laughs> shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i don't mm, uh it's kind of like uh like i don't even i don't even know because you know because you can see through people especially if you're a hiyoki empath you certainly can see through people um, and it's, it's a little bit discouraging for some of you, but I believe that source is trying to back this up. It's like, look, okay, don't be discouraged. It's okay. You're safe. You're good. You're protected. You got options. You know what I'm saying? You're intuitive. You're intuitive. It's on point. We're going to show you that you have cho choices and you even have the power to choose correctly because you're in alignment. OK, but you need to know that you have choices and not feel like that. You're just sitting there. It's like, oh, well, too bad. So sad. Like, right. right? Like, no, you you have choices. Your higher self is going to lead you to, you know, the right connections or the right environment to go get a massage or whatever means of your self-care. Right. Nice. Three of Swords. What is this, Light Team? What is this Three of Swords about for the collective? Did that want to come out? As I said, that the Seven of Wands. Yep. And Seven of Pentacles. So this is a very spiritual situation. Some of you... Ooh. Okay. So... Some of you are dealing with a broken heart regarding, like I said, family, friends, lovers, whatever the dynamic, people that were being defensive towards you, defensive towards you, not investing in you properly the way that you invested in them with the seven of pentacles. And that's what broke your heart because... For some of you, these are situations that, again, we're talking about overgiving it and extending that you gave a lot of who you are. You gave a lot. You gave a lot of time. You gave a lot of attention. You gave a lot of nurture. You gave a lot of affirming and people belittled it or they didn't value it because they're, you know, sleep as fuck, reptilian brain, 3D, shallow surface, superficial. You all know. Right. So they they took for granted the value of you and all that you poured in and did not reciprocate it okay it could be a job it can be like i said roommate family members friends lovers right that you pour it in you pour it in and they looked down on you and they were defensive towards you okay and because you didn't maybe value the same bullshit they valued. Whatever whatever the case. Right? And you invested from your heart. And they did not. They didn't. Two of swords. They always act like they didn't see. They didn't understand playing dumb and shit. Right? Always of two minds, always double minded, always indecisive, right? <laughs> Fell into learn. Like you guys gave to some of these people time and time again. You were there for some of these people. You nurtured some of these people. You uplifted some of these people time and time again. 
page of swords in reverse. They failed to learn. They didn't recognize. They didn't recognize. You guys try to talk to them time and time again. They didn't recognize. They thought you was playing. Thought you was playing. Truth is, you wasn't. Truth is, you had strength. <laughs> yeah. Many of y'all with this Ace of Swords cut a lot of people out your life. Because you gained your strength. You realized that it was going to be nothing but conflict. You were going to be doing nothing but continuing to pour into people's lives. And people aren't pouring back into you. And you was like, mm, to hell with that. Mm. Let me get my strength back. Thank you. With the strength card, the Queen of Wands, he wants. Motherfuckers always confused and playing dumb. All right, they think I'm dumb with this temperance. I don't think so. Here's justice. Karma's going to whoop ass. I'm going within. Thank you very much. Yeah, because I don't got no time. Like, y'all went on this whole journey. Like, I'm serious. For realsies. Y'all took rest, got healing, and got the fucking victory with the six of wands, he wants. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And see, to me right here... Y'all realize that, you know, you're dealing with a lot of selfish people with that five of swords. A lot of selfish, self-indulgent people, gossipy, backbitey, insincere, lying motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Competitive, jealous, envious, you name it. And the list goes on and on. Y'all realized it like, okay, I keep trying to pour into motherfuckers. And they steady trying to compete. I'm not their enemy. I don't got time for this shit. I'm going after my nine of cups because that's what they're doing. They're over, they're gluttonous, overindulgent, toxic as fuck. Right? With that devil energy. Codependent. Don't own up to their own shit. Here's the empress. Failing to communicate properly to the empress. Being immature towards the empress. Yeah. Because they're greedy. And attention whores. And you know what I'm saying? Selfish and shit. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. And so you guys are, you know, these groups of y'all, y'all in recovery. You've been healing. I was reading your back, your, the, the back story of what has got many of you here. This is the backstory. This is past energy. Now, you know, your higher self is kicking in because now you're starting to, you've done this soul healing. You've done this inner, you know, many of you have been on this kind of a journey. And so now it's the connection to the body now. It's like, okay, let's, let's massage out. Let's go and get, let's touch the body. Let's send love to the body and let's massage out that bullshit. Fake love. The kiss of Judas. Let's, mas let's massage it out. Right? Let's bring it into the body. Where it's held. You've done the soul reflection. You've done the, you know what I'm saying? All those other things. Let's massage it out. Wow. I didn't think this message was going like way to, the, to, the, to over here. You know what I'm saying? What is the um, Empress in Reverse Light team for the collective, please? Boom. Look at this. The moon. Inner child. Fears. Illusions. Delusions. Secrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For some of y'all, you know, you felt, you know, you got for a while, maybe for some of you, you felt like you just couldn't see like the pathway was dark because of all the chaos that you had put up with from people. Intuitively, many of you knew that you were dealing with fake fucks, even if it was family. You didn't want to know it, though. You didn't want to. But many of you have come to accept it because you realize now 
You realize now, you know, or at least in the recent past that you had a choice to make with this two of wands. Okay. Continue to work on things with this eight of pentacles with people that you know are fake fucks, takers, haters, smile in your face, right? All the while they want to take your place, backstabbers, right? You knew. So you say, well, <sighs> all right, Empress, you have a choice to make. Continue to try to work on things and build with motherfuckers that's burdening you down. You tired of these motherfuckers. Tired of the motherfuckers with this nine of wands he wants. <laughs> You're strong as fuck. You still got a little bit of oomph in you. Magician is right behind you. You have all the tools that you need in your magician power to create something else. Fuck all that shit. I'm finna make me a whole new something else. I'm finna create me some whole nother celebrations with this three of cups. But I'm serious, though. I'm laughing, you guys. But no, you did. You did that. You did. This is the story. You did that. Oh, okay. Oh, this is some. They fucked up. Oh, okay. I'm fencing the manifest. <laughs> manifest my healing, my release from third party energy shit, broken hearts from people that was supposed to actually care for you because karma's going to whoop ass. The Wheel of Fortune is pairing the Seven of Swords. Anybody who did you dirty is going to get karmically whooped. Okay? The secrets. High Priestess, you knew. They thought you didn't. They thought you didn't know they was lying, cheating, stealing my fuckers. Right? They didn't know. Because <laughs> you guys may have an innocence about you. Or you may let people think a certain way about you because it makes them put their guard down. Right? But the whole time. Look, the high priest is standing ne next to the seven of swords. What does that tell you? Major arcana energy here. She's the keeper of secrets. She holds hidden knowledge. But she usually remains quiet. She knew. She knew that people were all about money. King of Pentacles. She knew people were all about greed, all about what they can get, trying to capitalize off her energy, trying to capitalize off her gift, trying to manipulate. She knew people she was dealing with was all about the stuff. She knew. She knew. So she strategized quickly. Chariot. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I ain't going there. I'm gonna let that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep that part quiet. So, now you guys are being guided to the fun part. See, now it's about to get good. But this group that I'm channeling for, it's about to get good now. All of that that I just mentioned, that whole play out, I was given a backdrop. All of that was past energy. You all have already went through that. You've already processed it. You've already validated. You've already, you know what I'm saying, now you're going to get to the good stuff. Now you're going to make this connection back to the body. You're going to pour love into the physical. The skin, the body, not just the food we eat, not just the exercise, not just those aspects, which we do. But now you're going to tap in that nurturing, caring, empress energy, right? Into the physical touch aspect of the body. Touch touch recovering to the body where there was abuse where there was negligence where the body was taken advantage of and exploited right calling your energy back calling your power back all that attention you gave out to people 
now back this way, right? Restoring your chi, restoring your, your vital life force, right? And that's a beautiful thing. That is a, that is a healthy, loving thing to do, okay? It's not selfishness. That's, it's loving. We can't wait around. You're not, you're not to be waiting around for anybody outside of you. Okay, and the lessons many of you have already grabbed. If you guys seen some of these other readings that you resonate with, y'all have gotten the wisdom now. You're not going to be overextending. You're not going to be investing in people who are not worthy and deserving. You're going to smell it. You're going to know. Okay, you're not jaded. I don't feel like you guys are jaded. Not this group. I feel like you just simply learned. You, you know, it's life. You just simply learned. That's all. And, and went in and did the work and, under, and understood that, okay, you can't close a blind eye. You got to call shit. Right? Period. Oh, shit. Nobody got to... Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm just saying. On it for real. And I just saw the star, see... You guys are healing. That's the major arcana energy. You're healing. You're shining stars, rising stars. You wished upon a star. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love the star in this deck. She's like submerged in water. I don't know how they managed to do that. It's like. She's like in an ocean and looking up at the star here. It's like you've connected to your higher self. You've given your intentions over to the universe. And you're a rising star and they're sending light energy to you. Like, okay. It's time for you to take care of you now. It's time for you to take care of you now. With this three of cups here, it's time for you to celebrate celebrate you to celebrate life to be happy yeah come out of any five of pentacles feeling left out in a cold energy right because you're the magician look here's the magician again you're the magician you guys are fucking magicians you can co-create and create what you want when you stop exploiting your own energy and overextending and giving to the wrong people or the wrong things redirecting your energy back to where you want it look at ace of wands passion and new beginnings redirecting it to passion and new beginnings in your life fire right look at here's the high priest i'm telling y'all look at this we're getting it back to back here's the high priestess again many of you already know like you're getting downloads and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know. Here's the page of wands. Communication is coming in. Opportunities. Things that are going to foster self-care. That's going to reinforce that in your life. In some kind of way. Right? Wow. Alright team. What we got so I can wrap this up. What we got. What we got. All right, what do they need to know? Let's do it. Ooh, ooh, y'all, look it. And as I said that, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? Ten of Pentacles, baby. I want it all. Brand new socks and drawers. I'm just playing. Earth energy. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Ten of Pentacles. I'm every woman or every man. You know and I'm saying? I got the shiz in it. All of it. You know what I'm saying? And it's grounded. I just asked Source, what do they need to know? I shuffled, then I flipped it over. You need to know you about to manifest some legacy shit. <laughs> As you take care of you, tie it in. As you take care of you, tie this in. You are about to manifest some legacy shiznit. 
All right, team. What does this collective need to know? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm getting a couple messages with this part. Okay, so what some of y'all need to know is this is the Queen of Wands, E Wands, right? Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, right? Don't have to be. I only call that out because some people like to hear it, but me personally, I feel like we all embody all the elements. It just depends on a reading. Okay. Um, for many of you, what you need to know is you are building up your confidence to such an extent now. Hear, hear this out. You're building up your confidence to such an extent. Oh, I knew it. Oh, this is good. Okay, look, y'all, look, look. Hear, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, okay, okay. So for many of y'all's y'alls, right? The message is <laughs> you're building your confidence up to such an extent. Check this out. Seven of Swords, King of um, Cups in Reverse. You're building your confidence up to such an extent that you'll see this shit a mile away. You will see when people are in a, an abusive, manipulative, masculine energy, trying to manipulate emotionally, lying, stealing, and cheating, or just simply trying to take advantage of you in any way. You have built up or in the process, if you're not there, we ask source, what did you need to know? So for a group of you, you're building them such a degree like, mm, let, let them fool, let them, let them try, let them do it, let them do it, <laughs> let them try, right? Good luck. Others of you, oh shit, oh to the hell, give me a second. So for another group of y'all, right? Hmm. For another group of you guys, the, the, the message is simply is still going along with the first message. But literally, there's somebody or bodies, okay? So take this as this resonate. That is either as I'm speaking now or about to. Somebody is wanting a new beginning with some of you. It can be friends, family, because I have this Four of Wands right here. Four of Wands represents, you know, commitment, the 1111 card. It also represents family foundation, right? So take that part as it resonate. But there is somebody or bodies for sure, I'm going to tell you. They want a new beginning with you. There's a lot of sexual energy, so it's certainly sexual for some of you. They're hoping and wishing and praying. They want to present to you like they want to commit because look at what is in between. This is like the male phallic is related to sexual energy. But, you know, appearing like, oh, commitment. But Seven of Swords, lying from a masculine, could be a girl, a masculine, a distorted masculine energy, a karmic masculine energy, King of Cups in reverse, emotional manipulation to the queen. So just be on the lookout because the first message still applies. <clears throat> Many of you have done, even if you don't feel like you have, you've done such work on yourself. You've allowed self-reflection, self-healing. I mean, you've dealt with shit. 
You didn't brush it off. You didn't put a Band-Aid on it. You didn't blame the, the globe. You did your own, your work, your shadow work, your inner child work, and continue to. Because of this, you are standing in a Queen of Wands energy currently. Glowing, sexy, hot commodity. You know what I'm saying? Confident, shown give a fuck energy and shiznit. The higher vibrational Queen of Wands, fair, just and balanced. But she don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, she knows she a hot commodity. And you're going to be confident enough. And smell all of the shiznit. So I feel like the message is coming for those of you who feel raw and tender still. That yeah, you may still feel raw and tender. That's why we're talking about loving the body, the self care, the touch, and you know, bringing back soothing to the body from what was depleted from you. Yes, but you're smart as hell. That's what Source wants you to know. Like, don't underestimate your own growth here. Okay, let my fuckers try if they want to. They're going to come across a whole nother version of you that they did not know existed. So, in other words, you don't even need to worry. Simply need to be aware that they're coming, honey. They're coming. But it's still third-party energy here. Look at this card. Three of Pentacles. Chances are in the past, this is what they did to you. Always some bullshit, right? They're coming. On some bullshit. Some communication coming in with this page of wands he wants. Right? Now, to be fair, you know, like I said, some of them, they're coming in with the cups, the page of cups. Some of them may want to come in and apologize. Some of these folks is of your past or whatever. Some of these folks do. But see, my problem with these people, I'm going to tell you right now. Some of them, some of them do want us to come in and, and, and be like, okay, page of cups, he cups. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I did this, blah, blah, blah. Right? Some of them will come in and say, I'm sorry for juggling you, two of pentacles. I was a hoe on wheels. You know what I'm saying? Greedy. They're going to come in and say they put it to an end with the world. I'm not going to be this way no more. I'm not going to be selfish no more. I'm not going to lie no more. I'm not going to take advantage of you no more. I'm not going to... Yes? See? Oh, see, this is the problem I'm telling y'all. Y'all going to have to go by your intuition. I'm telling you. Because the problem I have with the, the appearance of this story here... Here's the Eight of Pentacles. To me, this feels like black magic all day long for some reason. Every time I see this card, I'm like, this is my fuckers doing shit. Trying to keep me down. But. See, and here's the Two of Wands. Choice. So they're going to be coming in saying, I choose you. I want to work on this. Eight of Pentacles. I've ended being unsure, juggling. Right? So all I can say, you guys, is because of what's showing up here, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna try to steer y'all wrong. I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna create I, I'm not gonna create false hope. Or I'm not going to reinforce any illusion. I see the seven of swords here. And I see a distorted masculine energy. So I'm not going to deny that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Now, sidebar. You're, you're going to know this. Your higher self, you're going to know. So you're just going to have to take that when it happens. A sidebar to this is this may have already happened. They, whether it's family, friends, exes, whatever, some of them may reform. And you know what I'm saying? They may come back at a later time. And I'm saying this because I see the night, the night of pentacles, which is slow, right? 
um, and they were in conflict. See what I'm saying? Here's that, that selfish energy again. Like slow to move forward, slow to commit, slow to change, slow to admit things, right? Slow, selfish, egotistical, arrogant, greedy, gossipy, right? Look at always clenching, holding on to bullshit, always holding back from you, right? Oddly enough, but constantly want something from you. Wow. So, mm, I don't know. Let's just see. Oh, mm, mm. Mm -mm. We said, what did you need to know? And these two came out. What else, team? What do they need to know? They're doing this self-care thing. They're going to do it in accordance to their guidance here. But what else do they need to know? Those that are resonating with this reading, this topic, self-care, touch, things that have influenced their current state, that they're recovering from. What else do they need to know, light team? Dang. Did y'all see that? What else do they need to know? I'm going to get it here. Wow. Wow light please and thank you that's the five of pentacles just in case y'all y'all wondering give me a second what do they need to know light team please shit boom okay boom all right boom five of pentacles ten of wands in reverse dropping burdens So for some of you, earth and fire here, you know, it's clear to me, this is a crystal clear in the case where, you know, distorted masculine energy, even if it's in a, 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 blah, 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 a body of a woman, I tell y'all this all the time. There are a lot of women who primarily operate from their masculine energies. And if that is them, they're going to show up in a reading as a masculine form. Okay. So this don't have to be men. Please understand. It don't. It's, this can be women. They're in a distorted masculine. Their masculine aspects are distorted. Right? The guidance is this. For many of you that this is just you and you, you're getting into balance. You're going to drop anything that causes you to get out of balance okay with yourself you're gonna drop anything that's causing you whether it's coming from a masculine you know energy whatever the case may be whatever kind of a mindset attitude or practice if it's internal that you're building up your confidence you're getting balance as you go on this self-care you're gonna get the guidance and power and strength to drop the burden Drop the burdens. And I say that because it's paired to the five of pentacles, leaving it out on the cold. Anything that is creating imbalance for you. Okay. But for those of you that this is clearly you, it's to do with relationships that you've had in your life. The guidance is you're going to be okay. You're going to be strong and confident to handle anything coming your way. And you're going to quickly drop and leave out in the cold okay five of pentacles being paired by ten of wands in reverse dropping it you're gonna leave it out in the cold okay you're not gonna entertain it you're not gonna allow yourself to get to this extent with this ten of wands and upright look at this girl Joan of Arc kind of shit like she tied to a tree being burned up right burdened by people and they bullshit because that's what that's all about right you're not and so they're saying don't worry about that you're not you don't even have to think it's like you're not you're not gonna be fighting we got the five of wands in reverse you're dropping shit you're having you're getting the confidence to drop shit like nah five of wands he wands in reverse you're gonna smell it if it's in the upright 
Oh, you come with that bullshit? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you, you trying to manipulate? Okay. Oh, you trying to put me in third party energy? Are you fucked up in the head? I'm an empress. I don't think so. Dropped. Dropped. Straight up. Your confidence is built up. It's getting built up to where you're going to, it ain't going to feel hard. Maybe in the past it felt hard, right? But now that healing, that balance, the self-care, right? Taking care of the queen. When this kind of shit show up, source, you know, your team, God, whatever resonates with you, they're wanting you to understand like, it's okay. You, you don't even have to stress. You ain't got to overthink. You ain't got to worry. You got it. You know how to six of, six of swords. Air energy. You know how to walk away. You know how to go into calmer waters. You're moving into calmer waters. And now you've mastered when to know when it is time for you to go on ahead and get in your boat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go ahead, get in your boat or your airplane. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck, your motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? You know now. Okay. You know. I'm going to just shuffle that just a little bit. Is there anything else from here or do I need to go? Romance, angels, what are we doing, team? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right. They want one more from here and then switch. They wanted one more from here and switch. All right. What is that one more? Light team, please and thank you. What's that one more for the collective? That one more, please. What is it? Light. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. Oh, oh, man. Okay, so. Oh, man. Ace of Swords, E Swords in reverse. <laughs> Ace of Swords in the upright is all about truth and clarity, right? Truth and clarity. Truth. Air energy. Here we go again. Seven of cupsy cups. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So I'm getting like two or three messages with this. Oh, man. Okay. So <laughs> one of the messages is it's just reiterating everything else they've explained that you're going to in this queen of wands energy you'll you'll know what's not true okay you don't have to like like beat your head and like over anxieties and like it was true i don't you know what's true what's true what's real what's illusion what's truth what's real what's illusion for some of you that's what is being reiterated like relax because you have a very strong high priestess energy all you got to do is honor it so when things are being presented to you, that's an illusion. Pay attention. The high priestess energy. Okay. That's one of the things. <sighs> but. Currently, somebody's lying to some of y'all right now, even as I speak. Sorry. This is not going to be for everybody. But for somebody, currently, somebody's lying to you and creating illusion. Selling the pipe dream. Knight of Pinnacle, Pinnacle-y right here. Yeah. Hold the telephone. Oh. Some, okay, hold on, y'all. I'm looking at the backdrop. For some of you or one or two of you. Yeah, you're being breadcrumbed. Somebody is not single. I see the nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Patience. Um, 
Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yep. And we're, wait, hold on. King of Pentacles. Hold on. Magician. Give you a second. Okay. So it is maybe for one or two people because maybe this is only simply confirming what Source is saying about the um, confidence and that high priestess energy. So for some, okay, if this ain't you, it ain't you. So please don't force it and you know, you may, you know your story, okay? But I can say certainly for some of you or one of you, currently in a dynamic, you are being lied to. Whether it's about another lover, whether it's about people just simply lying, trying to paint a picture of some shit about something to try to trick you about something, Whatever the case may be. But for some of you, this being paired, yeah, somebody's been lied to. <sighs> now for the last group, because I think it was like three different um, parallels. For the last one, there is some people or someone in your guys' life that's losing options. Okay. They're losing options. Due to their lying. <laughs> Due to their lying. I'm just saying, you guys, some people are. And that's kind of why they're going to be coming back towards you. Only you'll know. That's, yeah, they said that was it for that one. Only you'll know. Either way, you're empowered. No matter what the story may be, you guys are still empowered. Hold the telephone. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to see what they wanted. I'm sorry, guys. I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get your last message. <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't really prepare for this reading the same way. It was kind of like a spur of the moment thing that I was inspired to do. So I'm sorry about that little delay there. Yeah, because look. Okay, see. Oh, Lordy. Okay, so... Yeah, you guys have been healing with the healer of ages, which is Yeshua, right? You've been healing. Many of you have, you know, been dealing with your finances. And so some of these people are coming to you guys, you know what I'm saying? As you're trying to like self-care and self-love and, you know, because you're in this queen of wandsy wandsy energy that's surrounding you, this healing energy, Right? You, many people start circling back around due to financial constraints. And when I see financial constraints, it makes me think of it ain't just, um, you know, we go literal, right? So we go the coin like the, you know, not necessarily. See, it can be, yes, yeah, certainly the money for some of them, but it can be a little deeper than that. Some may just... Maybe they've got legal issues. Maybe, you know, it's got their monies tied up. It's not that they don't have it. Maybe they have legal issues, right? Maybe, maybe they see that maybe you're starting to rise up and they won't, you know, they, they feel limited and they want a little piece of that, right? Yeah. See, I don't know. Maybe some of them feel like you just got the answer or something. Because it being next to the healer, maybe they feel like you you got the ticket or something. I don't know. 
And as I say that, we got the fifth chakra. Archangel Gabriel, throat. This is all about manifestation, communication. The power to heal. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Lord have mercy. Mm, I don't know. Let's just get y'all final messages. <laughs> Either way. You're going to focus your attention on, you know what I'm saying? Look, getting your, your balance back, restoring your own energy back. You know what I'm saying? Finding creative ways of healing and connecting back to the body. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Getting that femininity restored in you, that sensual energy that was exploited. You know what I'm saying? And as I'm, yeah, fertility, see that empress, she knows how to manifest and people know it. I'm telling y'all. Even if it's subconscious, they know it. It's an energy. It's a frequency people feel. Mm -hmm. And some people come to you because they have a broken heart. And you guys are tired of it. Some people come around some of you because you're you are tightly aligned with the ascended master, Jesus. You're tightly aligned with that. Some of you have healing energy that comes through you potently. And people sometimes won't only want to come around to you when they've gotten their hearts broken. OK, and you guys know it and people didn't think you did. You know it. Because people try to deny and act like that wasn't the case. But whether this is family, friends, you know, people that only come around when somebody in the karma done whooped that ass again. Again. Right? And here they come. Because they see that you have victory. Straight up. Whatever the fuck my fuckers try to do to y'all, <laughs> not you have the victory. Why? Yes, sure, baby. Yeah. You've been empowered. You've aligned to your divinity. Being supported by the higher realms. You're not perfect. But you're empowered. <laughs> you're not perfect. But you're in alignment with that higher self and the higher realms. See, these individuals sometimes come to you because they live in the land of indecision very long and their lives get fucked up as a result. Many of you are healing with an ascended master. You're healing from the result of other people's indecision. And then some people do come back around because they want you to be stuck. And it ain't going to happen. <laughs> because you all are manifesting people who have a, a heart. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You are not trying to be all tied up with no bullshit because people is in the land of indecision all tied up in their own bullshit. Nope. Mm -hmm. Moving on. <laughs> again, cut it again. You have the victory. Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry. Not sorry. Because that third eye is lit up. <laughs> Metatron in the house now. Higher realms supporting you. Lit up. <laughs> and you manifesting a man with a coiny coin. And shizn it. You know what I'm saying? With the heart and coin. <laughs> People who are grounded want to give you emotion and something stable that has the capacity and the desire to give back to you what you give to them. Mm. 
shit. It's emotion and money, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't want to say money. I, I should really reference it in terms of the, the pinnacles about the earth. It's grounded. It's stable. It's not flighty. You can count on it. Somebody you can count on. Somebody you can fucking count on. Not on people that's, you know, always in storms and shit. Come in with their damn tornadoes and shit. Because of their indecision. <laughs> Woo! Lordy. Many of you, you're taking that temple path. You don't have time for that low vibrational shit, man. Don't have time anymore. Contract recreated justice is here. Hire a contract, rewrite Akashic Records. Rewrite. Mm, don't got time. Justice is in the house. Rewrite. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all ain't playing. Whoever this is for, y'all ain't playing. Source ain't playing. Y'all got some backing. Ain't nobody playing with that no lower level shit. Mm -mm. You're supported. Yeah. Look at this. Because all these cycles, people just want to keep coming around, playing like they're confused all the time. And it's really their indecision. You know what I'm saying? Playing like they're confused, creating broken hearted energy in your life. And you're, you're better than that. I'm sorry. You're better than that. It's not up to us to, people got to live with their life choices and decisions as we do. You know what I'm saying? And no, you've gained your strength. People know that you're strong. A part of why they come back to you anyway because they don't have strength and they're trying to cipher it <laughs> I'm just saying that's you know and you're gonna see it though I, I think that even for those of you that you know you may literally see this play out tomorrow You're going to actually be all right, though. That's the trippy part. Like, maybe before you would have felt, like, super devastated or, you know, maybe before you would have, like, been some kind of way. But that's not what I'm feeling right now. I, I don't feel like that's what y'all going to feel. I think that some of you have gone through this kind of stuff so many times to a degree that you are so strong now. That you see it from a higher perspective, first and foremost, you understand that it's all based on these people's frequency, their energy, their mindsets, their wounding. So you see through them, even if they're dressed up in fancy suits and cars and toys and hoes and whatever it is they have to puff up their egos. Right. You see. But not only that, it's just that you've gotten tough. Unfuckwittable now. <laughs> You're not what they thought you were. I'm just saying. Sometimes people think nice, soft, sensitive, empathy people are weak. They think they're weak. They think they're dumb. They think they're, you know, and that ain't it. Especially Hioki empaths. Hioki Empaths, my God. Y'all should Google that. Hioki Empath, yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> See, again, these people come around, and this is how they try to exploit this Empress energy with anxiety, right? That they fucking created <laughs> due to their choices and their games. You know what I'm saying? And they come why they want the Empress. They want the Empress. They want the Empress to soothe the mind. Right? Just like David did Saul, right? But no. Because look, these people are I can't make it up. Envy. Envy. And you know it. 
that they're in envy and you know it. They're in envy because they live their lives like this. They, they choose. It's their choice. They choose. Right? And they're in envy because guess what? You're not. <laughs> See, they don't know the story. I find it fascinating how this stuff works. It's easy to envy people looking, but my friend Watson, you didn't want to do the same thing that this other individual got. Why the fuck are you envious? You didn't, you didn't want to do the same sacrifice. You wanted to eat tater chips and smoke weed and party and fucking shit, right? Why? Why? And now you mad? These individuals did the soul journeying, learned some lessons, applied those lessons, and starting to benefit. They suffered. They cried. They stood alone. They made tough decisions when people mocked them, when people laughed at them, when people talked about them while you was faking and wearing a mask and playing dumb. And you guys can smell it. <laughs> they deny it. And some of them be trying to interrupt your happiness because some of them can sense that you're manifesting real love. The door to romance, real love, not fake shit. Mm -hmm. Light team. Shoot, we got a whole nother story that came out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look it. And I just love y'all for realsies. Look, 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 for realsies. I just said it. Caring connections. I just, man, I just said it. This is, I think I want to end it here. What y'all say, light team? Because this is kind of wrapping up all this whole long thing we've been talking about. Self-care. Touch. Look how he's touching her. Look how he's looking at her. He's not just looking at her lustfully like, let me fuck you good. No. You can almost sense it in the picture. He's holding her with like this tender, loving embrace. I'm sure he's turned turned on, right? Oh, somebody sent me a big old happy heart. What was that? That was beautiful. Um, whoever did that, thank you. I've never seen that before. I saw it pop up on the screen. Um, but you all are manifesting this kind of shit in your life. Caring connections, dudes. This is whether it's about romance or even like soul tribes, family, you know, friendships. You learn this. You realize that you deserve what you give. And you ain't finna have another damn conversation about it. You realize this. Now you're manifesting it. People can sense it. Rightly so. Y'all deserve this. This is the whole message. You deserve a caring touch. We're talking about touch. Some of y'all are just, you know, you're done with the games. You're done with, you know, fucking ain't that great. It serves a purpose, but it ain't all that. You're done with, you know, the energy of just the sensuality, just the, 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 the mechanics, the, the, the bump and grind. It's like, okay, fuck that. I want somebody that I actually like and that likes me. I want somebody that I care for and cares for me. I want somebody that, I, that wants to hold me and they ain't got to fuck me every time they do. I want somebody. All right. That can look at me lovingly. That's not looking at me with hate in their eyes and envy in their eyes due to their own inner child trauma that they're projecting off onto me. I want somebody that recognizes the beauty that they hold in their arms. 
His eyes ain't all over the country. His eyes are on her. Yes. Many of you are manifesting not only just this, but people that can hold you at your worst, though. Because many of you have been the kind of person that was there for people at their worst. And because that was the energy that you have put out into the universe, you were there for people when they didn't have shit. You were there for people when they was fucked up. When they looked fucked up, when they was fucked up, when they was sick, when they was acting a zip damn fool, when they was all this shit. You were there. When they knew they had fucked up their own lives and you knew it too. But you were there though. You didn't judge them. You didn't attack them. You tried to encourage and support these people. And they did not give it back to you. Because of this. Karma whip ass is, is in play here. But equally so, because of this, you now get this. Yeah, that's what the universe wants y'all to know. It wasn't in vain. It may have been a long time coming. But because you have put out loving, caring energy and you're doing this work, you're doing your own inner child healing. You're recognizing what needs to shift so that you can change your vibration. You're making better choices, realizing that your decisions matter. You can't say you want a caring connection and yet stay tied to a toxic fuck. Or individuals that are hell bent on being karmic to you. You can cry your tears. Many of you already have. Grieving the loss or perceived loss of needing to let people go. But if they can't be this to you, they got to go. Period. They got to go. That's what the universe is saying. They got to go. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -mm. What else, light team? Mm -mm. <laughs> And that's not, you know, people be like, dang, no, that's actually loving. The nature of humanity is we go through these phases and stages in life and depend on where we are in our development. And if we're still deep and fast asleep in our consciousness, the only way individuals can evolve and grow is through trial and error, is through cause and effect karma. This is how we all come to this awakened state or start awakening or start putting the, the pieces together. It takes that. It's honorable. We don't help people by staying in toxicity. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep reiterating that. We don't help people by staying in toxicity. You're not showing them that you love them. Quite frankly, you're actually showing the opposite. If you're staying in a toxic connection and you are enabling and reiterating somebody's toxic as fuck ways, you are not helping them. You are reinforcing narcissism. Just saying. Yep. It's time for balance. You are recreating contracts. It's time for justice, baby. That's how the universe works. Things got to come back to balance eventually. Shit been fucked up. They are reckoning this in his house. You're restoring. Look at. We talked about the feminine energy, the sacral chakra, the second chakra, creativity, sensuality, the body, the feminine, the emotions, moon cycle, 
This is being barked to balance for you. You're pulling back in that sensual, creative, nurturing energy. That's justice for you because it was exploited due to people's hostilities. I'm telling you. you you've been in hostile territories dealing with hostile MFs, whether it was family, friends, frenemies, fake fucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovers, lovers of lovers, co-workers. Yeah. Yeah. Those kinds of environments. Mm-hmm. People been strategic and shit. They thought you didn't know. Huh? But. Little did they know this is what you did. Mm. Oh. <laughs> they didn't know what they were fucking with. Like, oh, okay, cool. Now, let me just go on within here. <laughs> and now I'm about to speak my truth, my fuckers. You know what I'm saying? Throw chakra. <laughs> I know the truth. I know the truth now. Take an action. Yeah. Came out of that storm. And look at because of my fuckers. This look at the deceit right here. <laughs> this card is weird to me. Every time I see it, I'd be like, oh, this person. Ugh. I'm serious, y'all. Look, he all camouflage -y. I'm telling y'all, be masterminds. That's what I'm saying. He's camouflaged. Shapeshifter. He's all merged. You know what I'm saying? With the background. <laughs> so he shapeshifts. But if you look close in his face. Look close. Closer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to leave this part alone. I ain't finna say that. Like, mm -mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave right there. Thank you. End of the reading. Because <laughs> this is going deeper than I even planned. I did not plan on going there at all. Anyway. You guys, this is beautiful if it's resonating. You guys have gone through a lot. I get it. You know, it's been a long journey, you know, inner healing, exploited empress energy in your life. You know what I'm saying? By, I think it was, um, what showed up? Yeah, it was a distorted masculine showed up here. Yeah. And a distorted feminine. You know what I'm saying? That's been out of balance. You guys have probably dealt with both distorted masculine and feminine energies in some way. You know, um, that has created the imbalances and that's coming back to balance for you. Now you're being guided to the fun part because this is what's literally in the horizon for you. You're manifesting your caring connections now because it's justice. It's the rewrite. It's the Akashic Records here. Okay, you're rewriting it. It. So that no more toxic shit, no more, you know what I'm saying, negative, hating, you know what I'm saying, fake fucks, right? No more. You've learned your wisdom, the lessons in which why you carnated into it or why you created it in the first place. You've grabbed your wisdom lessons. You went in and did the work. So now you just need to know, hey, it's all right. Just support it. You're, you're getting your creative energy, your feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? The emotions and all of that back intact. You're going to manifest something healthy in, you know, in your life. You're building up your confidence. You're going to know and be able to smell when people coming at you with that foolery shit. They're going to wish the fuck they didn't know. <laughs> But you'll know. 
you will know. And there's no need to fret. You have options here. You're dropping burdens. You'll have the strength to drop anything that's sideways and, and to the left and crazy and shit. Without a doubt. Without a blink. Okay? Get the massages. You know, if you feel guided, if you're comfortable. But it can certainly help because it's, now it's about, you know, connecting back to this body in a healthy way. Paying attention to you instead of always rubbing somebody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with rubbing somebody. But the group of you that I'm, I'm talking to, you have depleted yourself. You overdid it. You overextended you know what I'm saying? You neglected yourself. You didn't get things back. So it's time for you now. The catering is to you. That's right. That raises your frequency. And it, it amplifies the manifestation of that. Because now you realize that I'm going to take care of me. One way or the goddamn other. I'm not finna be rubbing some Joe Schmo. You know what I'm saying? The Joe Schmo that I'm a rub is the one that's in this here Karen connection, though. That's that's the Joe Schmo I'm rubbing. Okay, I'll give I'll give that Joe Schmo a massage. Massage. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> because he a Karen connection. You know what I'm saying? It's ego give and take. He recognized value. He deserves a massage. Massage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not some rando. You know, and some selfish fucks. No. And that's what I mean by that. You guys have just learned the difference. Like, okay, things are going to be balanced. You guys aren't going to be giving out energy. You're going to match people. That's what I'm picking up too. You ain't going to say nothing. You're just going to start matching people. Oh, they, oh. Oh, they aloof? Then you're going to be aloof. And then you're just going to shift your energy. Because you're going to realize that, oh, they don't have the capacity. Switch mm, to the left. Like, no, you're not going to overinvest into people. You're not going to be trying to teach somebody. Ooh, this is a good message. Oh, you ain't going to be trying to teach somebody how to fucking have a relationship. If they don't know how to fucking have a relationship, then they need to go to the school of know how to have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just saying because, see, that's more energy. Please hear me out. I'm laughing and joking, y'all, to try to make this kind of funny and humorous and hopefully make some of y'all laugh and kind of, you know, to try to lighten it up, right? That's why I do that. But the problem with, you know, and see them caring kind of people, man, the problem with that is people always play dumb. And the problem with that, you'll find that you're always expending your energy to teach a motherfucker to do some shit they should already know. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't, they need to go to the school of how to have a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Look. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to teach a motherfucker how to talk A, B, C, D, E, F, G and shit. Like, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Then you need to go to the school of how to talk then, okay? You don't know how to talk? Oh, you have problems with communication? Okay, then go to the school of how to communicate. Because I can't be both here. Either you want to pay and hire me to be a coach or you want a relationship with me. Which one is it? I'm just saying. And more often than not, some of these individuals, like I say, they are playing dumb. Some of these individuals be acting like that to try to keep my fucker stuck around. Please take that player's book wisdom nugget right there. Okay. Some of them motherfuckers be acting dumb. 
oh, you know, I just don't. That's just not my way. It's not my style. You know, that's not how I do things. I'm not used to that. I didn't see that in my household. Lies. <laughs> think about this and then I'll, I'll stop. I don't think they're guiding me to get anything else out for you guys. Think about this for fun, you guys. Think about it. In your life or anybody's life that you've known, okay, just go there for a brief second. Anybody, when it came to something or someone that they really wanted bad, they really liked, they really was passionate about, it was that cat's meow, they, they, their eyes light up at the thought of it, whether it was a hobby, a, 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 um, a task, an endeavor, a hope, a dream, a goal. Think about this just quickly, and you're going to quickly come up with the same answer. All these individuals, no matter what their backgrounds were, their cultures, their ethnicity, their upbringing, their belief systems, right? No matter what, when it came down to these types of scenarios, all of these individuals were able, willing, and ready to express and show what? Know-how, passion, interest, investment. Think about it. Think about car enthuses or sports enthuses. The most reserved businessmen that are sportsmen enthusiasts or car enthusiasts, those same quiet, reserved businessmen and women, you will see yelling and screaming in the bleachers. Why? Because that's what they want. It's what they're passionate about. It's what they care about. If it's money, then hit the man's wallet. You'll see that nice little reserve statue turn into something totally different. If somebody hits the lottery, all of a sudden their professionalism, their, you know, shyness and all that shit is thrown out the window. So, remember this when it comes to connections. These individuals, they're not going to have a problem. <laughs> They know who they are. They ain't trying to impress the world. And they know what they want. And many of you lived a long time being empresses to all of the wrong people. But now, the empress is finally about to benefit from all of that loving care that she has given out to people that went unnoticed and unappreciated. But you got to stand your ground. You got to keep yourself in high honor and high regard and take care of you. Go get that massage massage, girl. Guy, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Go on, do that. You know what I'm saying? Go and get that makeover, whatever that means for you. Go and do it within budget and means, of course. But it's time for you now. All of that affection you was trying to pour on to them people, shit, tell yourself, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? Look in the mirror, like, I'm fine as fuck. Like, whatever you were doing, whatever you were giving to these people, trying to make them feel better and they shit on it. Now, Turn it the other way. Make yourself feel better because you're worthy. You're deserving. And you got some folks that's about to come on in and they about to show you that, honey. This here right here? Yeah. And they probably have wild sex too. See, the, the irony is that sometimes people look at this kind of stuff and they go... Oh, that's going to be boring as hell. And, you know, that's not going to be exciting. Oh, that's your perspective. 
they probably have the best sex out of everybody because it's beyond the penis vagina. It's beyond just the mechanics. It's beyond the 3D. This is two people that truly have a soul connection and truly care and love one another beyond mechanics. They know how to sit in stillness and be equally thrilled with one another. They know how to sit down and not have to be overly stimulated in order to feel satisfied. They are mature. They know how to have a good time and quiet and be grateful for it. And they also know how to party. They know how to create adventures when they want to, (laughs) but they don't rely on it because it's a soul connection. They're not thrill seekers. The thrill is inside of them. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what many of you are doing. You're worthy of it. You deserve it. Remember that, okay? Beautiful souls that this resonates for. You do. Universe is actually backing you. Yeshua is backing this. Metatron is backing this. Gabriel is back in this. All of those archangels and ascended masters showed up. It's your time now. Take care of you. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end that. Ah, it's been my pleasure. Thank you all. You know, those of you who came in with that positivity and the, you know, positive comments. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I hope it it resonated. Um, Somebody says, thank you. Needed this message. You're very welcome. Um, The name of the deck, somebody asks. Oh, that one is um, Energy Oracle, whoever asks that. Um, Thank you guys for sending roses and happy faces. I love y'all. Hope y'all get all that positive energy um, back to you where you need it the most okay somebody says this helped me immediately i'm grateful for that run with it mama if that's a woman i'm just assuming i'm sorry guy or girl um somebody said the deck with the queen of wands oh that one is the um you're talking about this one uh the queen of wands deck is the haunted house i want to say because i oh that's an old deck i think that one's the haunted house um yeah the haunted house the haunted mansion tarot and some shit yeah 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 yeah. um what do we got here some oh somebody got love face oh thank you whoever said that and then somebody said god bless you thank you god bless you too you're very welcome all of you you're very welcome take what resonates apply it run with it as you need to okay and all these other individuals y'all please understand hopefully you'll catch my my little personality or my energy if you follow me enough but um, I, I joke a lot. I do. I clown. I'm a so a clown, y'all. I do clown. <laughs> I joke. And I be saying shit, man, especially when I get on a tangent. But I just want to say and share from my heart that I do that for a couple of reasons. I get in that mode, first of all, to be relatable and bring things true to life, okay, um, to our experience that's not always polished right so I go in that vein and then other times I do that to make us laugh like to kind of come out of the the heaviness of these situations that we have gone through because sometimes they're very painful and you know it it, it don't feel like that when you're in it so I do that to be clowning <laughs> like to lighten the mood and then to validate you guys so you guys see me get serious it says it's perfect i love the sense of humor you had thank you but you see me get serious right and i start going off talking about karmic whoop ass and i just be going to the left (laughs) but and it be true y'all i'm telling y'all it's the truth because i don't be speaking on messages if it ain't what i'm getting it be the truth but i be doing it raunchy like that to validate you all's experience 
to just let you guys know that, yeah, you know, I know it's crummy and shitty, you know, sometimes the things you've experienced unjustly. And that's why I do that, to let you know that rest assured the universe is set up in a way, whether you are getting that front row seat or not, karma whoop ass is coming. There's always a day of reckoning for the energies that we put out there. And if people have intentionally did shit to you, whether they're admitting it or not, if they've mistreated you and, you know what I'm saying, did you some kind of dirty, you know what I'm saying, there's nothing hidden universally. They can fool themselves and fool people, but it's not hidden. Okay. So karmic whoop ass is going to knock on a door, probably as I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? And they try to dress up and save face for the world because some of them, you know, don't want to appear like that's happening but rest assured you guys it, it is okay and that's why i do that somebody says uh you need my current wait it says you read my current part of my life from a to z thank you oh my gosh i look i can uh, hey i relate whoever said that somebody says per queen <laughs> see y'all hearing this that 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 cheetah leopard energy come out and shit there i am boom look at that leopard cheetah energy yeah, but that came through the school of hard knocks, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's a story, and I keep telling you guys that as soon as I'm guided, I promise y'all, I am going to do a live, but it's going to be talk show style, okay? I am. You guys will see me. I will be on the couch. I'll probably have it set up. I'll probably, like, have a guest speaker or some shit, <laughs> But you guys will see me and it's going to be with the purpose of me sharing the story of Bloomy. How did I even become Bloomy? And um, the awakening, the journey and, and, you know, what that looked like. And so hopefully that you can pull something out that may possibly help you there. OK, I am. You'll see. It says, what was the name of the empath you said specifically? Oh, yeah, it's um, Hioki. Um, I don't know how to actually spell it, but it's it starts with the H. Hioki Empath. Um, the Hioki Empaths are said to be the most powerful empaths of empaths. Um, superpower empath. I don't know why. I did a little bit of research on it because for some reason I was just guided as I was looking one day and I was like, oh shit, you know. And um, they're a force to be reckoned with, but they're very underestimated because of their appearance and kind of the nature of that impact um they have an ability this capability to kind of um they will mirror energy back to people i hope i'm saying it right they will mirror the energy and it'll be reflected it's almost like a deflector and sit, like sending it back to the person so the person sees themselves and unfortunately, what happens in those situations, and this is what made sense for me. And I was like, well, shit, that's probably kind of my life right there. Um, it makes them uncomfortable, this kind of impact, because usually impacts will just absorb. And that's the, the known trait of an empath. But the Hiokis have this kind of frequency vibration. I don't know what the fuck, but it, re, it deflects back to whoever's in front of them. And if that individual is on some fake shit, they're going to flip it or deflect it some kind of way. That person's going to feel that and it's going to irritate the person, i.e. trigger. Because it's going to highlight that to that person, the energy that they're putting out is it's a trip. And they won't have words for this. They won't be able to tell you or say, you know. They're just going to feel it. And this is why they get triggered by Hioki impacts a lot. They get very triggered and they start getting hostile. They start getting irritated and they start, you know, I'm saying some of them run because to be around a Hioki too long, it, it's kind of hard to hide. The mask come off. It's very hard. Um, yeah. So you guys should, if you feel like that's you or you, you feel like it's resonating, you might want to research that because that may explain to you why you've gone through some things and why some people have, you know, responded to you or reacted to you in a certain way. And you might have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> they get very uncomfortable in front of Hioki empaths. You may see some of that on, on the YouTube platform as well if you type it in there. Okay. All right, guys. Um... 
somebody says yes what they need to see in order to heal yeah see correct whoever said that you're absolutely right that's the point that's really what it's it supposed to be for but oftentimes most folks aren't there in their mind or in their energy yet to be able to understand like oh so this is what's going on in me this is what i need to transform or integrate so most people because they're comfortable in their toxicity or they're comfortable in their their mask you know then initially because the, the hiyoki empath won't say anything see I, i'm now i'm on a tangent it's not that hiyokis they don't they don't it's not what you think they don't go around rolling their head you know what i'm saying saying mm -mm. that's not it's just them it's their frequency they can be sweet as sweet potato pie don't matter it's their frequency it's something in their dna their their epigenetics that they, they carry that it's a frequency so even if that person the hiyoki may be being nice that doesn't matter it's going to still be a, tr a trigger. It's going to provoke. It's going to re still reflect if these people are coming at them to the left. And it makes them uncomfortable, you guys. Somebody says, um, uh, let me change this right here. I can't read. I need some, some glasses. It says, yes, I love your energy. Love your readings. Thank you so much. Today was the first I watched. Oh, wow. I'm glad. Well, welcome. In. You're very welcome. Thank you. Somebody says, yes, I've been called the vault because I can hold secrets. Yeah. Now, ooh, whoever said that, that's another thing about empaths. Um, they, they know stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like that high priestess, they know stuff, but they don't say anything. And the reason they don't, I think it's because most empaths are very, very loving most of the time. Until you piss them the fuck off to the left, though, when they get to... But most of the time, <laughs> empaths are very loving. So they don't seek, it's not in their DNA, it's not in their frequency to want to hurt people, you know, just because, or to want to... Um, exploit people they really because they can see beyond the service they understand people are in, in pain um but you know yeah somebody says yes i'm a water sign that explains it yeah ruled by the moon yeah water energy my son's a water sign um yeah you guys so take care of yourself you know that's a part of what an, an empath's um lesson is in this life is you got to balance out you got to take care of yourself you have to heal your inner child wounds you have to still be able to use higher wisdom you know just because you're loving and don't mean you're supposed to overly invest in you know toxicity you know and that's a hard lesson because empaths want to see people happy they want to see people heal they want to see people okay you know but it, everybody has an individual journey and choice and some people will die in a karmic energy this lifetime by their free will okay and it's really nothing you can do about that but just continue to love you and try to make the best choices you know how to make and continue to grow and evolve and transform and that is your contribution to the collective as you're serving yourself so you can better serve the collective right in a more balanced way um, somebody says, love your energy, beautiful and comforting. Okay, I'm so glad it is. We need more of that. So it's my honor and privilege to be um, a vessel for that. So thank you all for joining. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to upload this very long video to the YouTube platform, okay? Um, just because like me, I like to be able to go back and forth in videos that I want to look at. So it'll be over there for y'all if you're interested, okay? All right, guys, everything is energy. Balance is key. Live for yourself. Be good to yourself. Honor the divinity of your true self because at the end of the day, you are with yourself. Somebody says, good, because I missed it. I, can't, uh, I came in at 126, right? Right. 
All right, you guys. I am. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to try to get over there as fast as I can for you guys, okay? All right. Take care, guys. Love and light. Namaste.